Hey there, Virgo. Welcome to your reading for the second half of January. This is your financial reading for the second half of January uh, 2019. Uh, this month I go live every single day at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So if you want to catch me live, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon. But uh, let's see what we have going on for you in regards to finances this month. And uh, let's see. I do feel like there could be some confusion right now. In regards to finances, I would say you do have solutions here, though. Uh, you have the Eight of Clubs coming up first, confusion about choices, and uh, Four Spades recovery. So I do feel like, yeah, like I said, you do have solutions here uh, to any uh, possible financial issues that you could be dealing with. You do have, you know, th different things coming up. So I do feel like there are options or there will be options for you. Now, this could also just be confusion about how to get money right now, or there could be confusion in your financial situation just in general. It could also just say that, that money is more sporadic at this time. Uh, it's like not necessarily a bad thing, but it could be one of those things where it's like you never know when you're getting paid or you never know when you're like going to get a job and, you know, all that other stuff. But I do feel like there is going to be a recovery here for you soon, some sort of improvement. Uh, for others, this card just says do something different. Uh, the Eight of Clubs is the card of banging your head against the wall, you know, doing the same thing over and over and over again, expecting a different result, you know, basically insanity. So it is a card of, like, that says if you're expecting a different result in, like, a job or something, it's probably not going to be different. So it just says, like, try to do something else or try to get something else. Uh, the one thing I do like about this card is, again, it does say that there are options. There are things that, you know, you can do that will lead to more money in the near future as well. Uh, next, you have the Eight of Hearts here and uh, the Jack of Spades. Yeah, uh, this is really good. Uh, Eight of Hearts is like a gift from the universe. I do feel like there will be more money coming in for you soon. Uh, Jack of Spades is just a card of a child. You and Leo, uh, it must just be that part of the sky. You know, you and Leo, those two signs right there. You and Leo always get these cards of needing to do what you wanted to do when you were a child. Like, what dreams did you have when you were a child? Or, like, even in your teens or, like, before you, the age of 12 or something like that. You know, again, if you, if you had dreams, if you had things that you wanted to do or, you know, uh, again, whatever it is that you wanted to do, these cards say that you need to do it. Uh, that could be where the money will be coming in for you by living some sort of dream, by, um, you know, by doing so, you know, working based off of some sort of passion. I do feel like some of you Virgo people, just some of you, not all of you, again, this is not going to be for all of you, but I do feel like for some of you, it's like you're having a hard time uh, figuring out what you want, what you are passionate about. You know, there could be problems there is that you're just, you just don't know what you would be passionate about. So I do feel like there is kind of this uh, need to explore different jobs or needing to explore different passion ideas that you could have and needing to see like where those ideas can lead you basically. Uh, for others, I do feel like this is a gift from the universe. Again, this card can represent like a gift of money for sure or uh, some other type of gift coming in for you is what I would say there. Uh, next, you have the four clubs and the three of hearts. Uh, indicator card, I just call the three hearts an indicator card. It just says to me that things are moving forward in a much more positive direction for you. And uh, let's clarify again, yeah, uh, King of Clubs as well. I do feel like for some of you, there could be an offer among friends is what's popping into my head. So it's like maybe a friend offers or maybe a friend tells you that they know of a place that's hiring or maybe their place of business is hiring. I do feel like I feel that for some of you. Uh, for others, I do feel like this could just represent a new boss. Uh, you know, uh, you have the King of Clubs. You also have the King of Spades. These can represent new bosses or new potential, um, you know, places of employment, basically. So I do feel like it could just be saying that you're going to get hired somewhere else or there's going to be uh, new opportunities for work somewhere else. Uh, for others, again, this can represent confusion about the future. So again, some of you could just be confused at this time. But this card also says you know the truth right here. So I feel like you need to listen to yourself. It's come up almost every single night, Virgo, that I do the live readings for the next day. It's like you need to meditate. I feel like a lot of you need to like just slow the brain down in some way. So like by meditating or doing something fun, I feel like if you do that, it's like then all the answers will come in, will pop into your head. I feel like you know the answers as well. Uh, I also, for whatever reason, feel like for some of you, your future is going to look a lot different than you think. I don't think that's a bad thing. That's a message just popping in, kind of a weird message. But I feel like some of you could be doing something and you think it's going to go one way, but it actually goes another way. But like, again, I don't, I don't think this is a bad thing. So I would just say keep moving forward. Uh, next, you have the 
King of Spades and the Seven of Diamonds. Yeah, dreams. Uh, paying attention to your dreams. This is a card of messages. It says you could be receiving messages in your dreams. You could be receiving messages in your daydreams as well. Uh, the problem with this is sleeping right here. So again, maybe some of you aren't getting messages because you're not sleeping. Or maybe you're having more, to you know, tossing and turning about finances or like worried about, um, maybe some of you finances are, you know, okay, but, or fine or even great. But at the same time, maybe some of you are, again, are tossing and turning about like what you actually want to do right now or you know what you want to be working on at this time this card says pay attention to your dreams uh, for some of you this can represent a mentor or somebody very important to you uh, it could be a parent this could be your father as well if your father is still around um, but it could be again it could be male female whatever so it could just be somebody that you look up to I'd say this is a card of somebody you look up to I feel like this person has been through a lot again he's cut the head off of that snake right there so this card represents somebody who has uh, been through a lot of different things in their lives they pretty much have an answer for everything or they're just a really good problem solver and so again it could be a friend or um you know it could be a spouse but most likely like i said father uh so some of you could just need to seek out a mentor i would also say if you have a specific goal in mind i would find somebody who has done whatever it is that you want to do because again i feel like this is saying like seek out someone who is more intelligent than you that doesn't mean you're dumb it just means that you know maybe somebody who just has more experience in whatever it is that you want to do i feel like that could be very helpful because of this messages card right here and uh finally you have the three of spades and the five uh, uh queen of clubs here i'm gonna pull one more four hearts yeah so i feel like this is saying you're actually going to change your mind about something financially uh, i feel like it's saying that for some of you you could be separating away from a job leaving one job going to another and uh, for others, I feel like you're attracted to something, uh, not in a love sense here with this uh, Queen of Clubs. This is, of course, a financial reading. But I feel like you could be like attracted to an idea, like a business idea or a new job. And I feel like you'd go for it. And I feel like it'll make you very successful. For others, there's definitely moving here as well. Uh, I feel like that's come up for you as well in the past, Virgo. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's you that uh, moving or moving to a new, new location has come up several times. And I do feel like a move could be um, profitable for you. It could lead to new jobs or whatever. Uh, for others, I feel like this is just a more kind of, um, more like finances becoming more even remember at the beginning i said that i felt like maybe finances are kind of all over the place or maybe you don't even know when money is coming in you know especially if you work like on commission or something like that you know maybe you don't even know when this money is coming in but i feel like this is things becoming more predictable and you know more regular as well so it looks pretty good to me i'd say a lot of changes i would say stay open as well i mean like i said i feel like there are things that you want to do um i just and i feel like i've said this to you before as well with that eight of clubs it's like you might have one you know, have an idea to like start a business, then you think it's going to go a certain way, but maybe it's going to be different. So I would just say like, stay flexible uh, with these cards here, but it uh, looks really good Virgo. So uh, thank you for watching and enjoy the rest of your month.